The second one I, I was thinking about uh, more from a, probably um, either an artist's perspective or an enterprise perspective, and, and that's kind of a, a funny thing to put together, but um, a corporation is going to be thinking about um, who gets to have uh, the first announcement, who gets the scoop on when you have a new thing uh, in Second Life. Um, is it a, um, a prominent blog, a prominent art group in Second Life? Um, is it your own community that you've developed um, that you're going to give that first scoop to? Um, and you know, when you, when you announce something, you want to develop that. Is the community that you've developed mature enough to seed an announcement well enough that it's going to reach the outside world? If not, you're going to want to leverage the art community. You're going to want to leverage uh, those those power bloggers. Um, you know, and send them your press releases. Um, and, and really, um, at that point, uh, you're, um, you're part of the community and you're a community player um, who's a your own marketing effort to do in second life. The next thing to think about when you're giving away an item is um, the knowledge of that item. Um, if somebody can blog about it, um, if somebody can add it to a wiki, is it your own wiki? Is it your own blog? Um, is it your own Flickr group? Um, how, you know, how are people um, getting the word out uh, for these, um, f f f you know, these events that you're having, um, and who owns it? Um, the next thing is is the f the. F the item that you're giving out or the activity that you're providing, is it transmittable? Can the user take that to another place and res it again? Or can they recreate the circumstances and have that activity again? Um, is, am I, uh, can you still hear me okay? I noticed in chat some people might not be able to. Okay, all right. Um, all right. Uh, the, the next item is modification, of course. Um, you know, you've got those copy mod transfer options down at the bottom um, that everybody worries about and gets into flame wars on the internet about. Um, I really, I wouldn't mind an, another box, but um, that, that's a whole, whole separate discussion. Um, I don't worry about it too much. What, what we need to worry about is, can the users or your visitors modify uh, what you're giving away? Um, that's that's a huge freedom, um, and then um, the last thing is opinion. Um, these these are the same as same as saying uh, ratings, comments, um, things like that, uh, and and the blog sphere, trackbacks, uh, all that, um, and really that the, these are all facets of something that's free. So you can actually have an object, but you're giving away things about it that are free. You might be giving choices, modification, um, you might be making it transferable. So there's there's levels of freeness in everything on Second Life. Um, the notion that, that something is free or not seemed a little bit silly to me. There was there was a forum on it, and I it just could not believe the arguments that were happening, um, when really it's it's a very gray area. Um, and my most recent um, project in Second Life was the graffiti train. I don't know if you've, you've been there to see it, um, but really it kind of takes all of these things, all of these ideas, and attempts to try and play with those and say, what, what is it that users are really looking for? And on the graffiti train, I allowed people to walk up to this train and modify it. You can spray paint anything you want on it within reason. You can't, you can't slam the user. You can't insult another user, but I've I've let quite a bit of profanity go on um, on there. I think it's pretty fun um, to see what what people come up with on there. Um, but there's different levels of participation. Uh, there's a Flickr group around it. Uh, there's been I think 3,200 uh, individual pieces of graffiti created by visitors uh, so far. Um, it was announced uh, within my own group. Um, you know, really leveraging Flickr's own 
community tools for opinion um, ratings. You know, people can go in there and favorite other people's uh, graffiti. It's in my profile. Okay, um, and we're going to go back to this uh, uh, in, a, in a minute. Um, the next thing we want to talk about um, free content drives traffic is content. Um, if I can get it to go. Hang on, folks. Uh, it looks like the AM radio has gone off the air, but uh, we'll be back. Welcome back. Your your fans await you, AM. We've been keeping the radio alive here. Hey there. Can you hear me? All right. For some reason, I don't have gray above my, or green bars above my head. All right. Uh, so where do we leave off? Oh, we were going over um, uh, the different facets of a free, uh, free content. Uh, thank you guys so much for um, for sticking around and not not bailing. Um, I think I might have been the first to to say let's go sc scoot. Um, <laughs> I hope so. That's why we're all here, right? To have fun. Okay, let me see if I can get the controls back up for this. Alright, there it is. Alright. Excellent. You know, there's there's tons of pictures of me on Flickr uh, uh, that people take of AM radio when I'm away from my keyboard, and it kind of freaks me out, but what can you do? Um, all right, so the, <laughs> the next um, slide is to define the word content. And, you know, as a, I was sitting around thinking about this, this subject, um, there, it struck me that there's very different types of content uh, in Second Life, and there's different people with different um, agendas and what they want to do. Uh, with Second Life. Some people want to make clothes. Some people want to build really cool script tools. Some people want to build really cool weapons. Um, there was a... I was getting grief the other day uh, in my desert sim and some guy uh, set off a nuclear bomb and normally this would be very disruptive but I thought it was really cool and I took pictures. Um, so there's there's all types of builders uh, out there. Um, uh, you know there's there's um, and different levels of, of platforms. Um, you know, you, you had this, Linden Labs came out with Second Life, and now you have a lot of people saying, wow, this is a really cool idea, and, and using OpenSim or, uh, you know, things like um, Nebraska uh, and other virtual world engines to create platforms. And on that platform, um, there is uh, land space, objects, tools. Uh, that platform could be the web. I mean, this could be the same description as Flickr. Uh, you're providing users with space for pictures. Uh, you're giving them objects and tools to do that. So these, these people are providing functional um, ability. Um, and some of them, um, they also want to, around those objects, want to build uh, an activity, um, an activity like we're in today. Um, the activity might be simply being creative, uh, which, but I, um, I, I, I built uh, basically representations of my art as tangible sims uh, that you can move through. I provide uh, HUDs that, that make it easy to make um, I promote the, the Flickr group. I encourage people to, to be creative. Um, I leave 
building and scripting on on the sims or the spaces that I build uh, very intentionally uh, so that people can can modify um, or extend the spaces that they're in um, you know <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've shown up at the, the far away the wheat field and and seen um, you know, people just res the living room out there and just uh, chilling out, um, which I think is great. Um, you know, however people see the space and however they want to extend it and use it, um, I think it's very interesting. I, lo I love seeing how people uh, use the spaces.